Last mag of the 1,000 round. Well, not really 1,000, it's more like 1,200 rounds, but we're rounding down. Oh, that's really hot. PSA, I don't want to touch that. That handguard's really hot. AK 101, 1000 round overview. Let's go over it. PSA, AK 101 review. We have finally hit 1000 rounds with the gun. Well, a little over 1000. We're around, um, probably around 1200, maybe 1300 rounds. Because when I had originally, I took a whole case of Tula when I first got the gun and I had fired it. Now I had an extra case over, so I had probably a couple hundred rounds in that case. But this gun's around the 1300 mark as we speak, 1200, somewhere around there. But we're going to go over the gun now. So let's get into it. First things first, did the gun have any more jams or stove pipes with the Tula? And I want to say this too. I did not use any more of the plum mags uh, with the gun. This is just for the aesthetic. What I had been using are these AC Unity 556 AK mags that come with the gun. And so here's the deal with that. I was, after I posted the last video, I posted it on AR15.com. The PSA representative, I think it was goes by J-Man, I think, uh, or Joshua, might be his name. He had said to me, if you only use the 5.56 mags, we will send you ammo and uh, free, free mags. So I want to make this clear. I was sent 1,000 rounds of 5.56, 55 grand FMJ. The um, 556 loading, Palmetto State Armory, American Ammo Company. I've sent 1,000 rounds of that. Now, I'm pretty swamped. I'm making this one, as you can tell, the next day. So, that won't be till next week. This will be next week. But I want to make it clear I will remain fair and objective with this firearm. And if there are faults, I will point them out. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to point out the faults. So, did I have any more stove pipes? I had one. That was the only one. Now, I can get comments. It could be the ammo, apparently. You know, but I want to say something. I've never had problems with steel case in my AR-15s. Even my Palmetto State Armory AR-15s, I've never had these issues with steel case. So, as to whether or not this is the ammo's fault, that's hard to say. Because, like I said, I've had many good, 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 good instances of steel case running in my firearms. All my firearms. My BCMs, my PSAs, my Wyndhams. So, the issue as to whether or not it's the ammunition, that's hard to say. Um... I feel the idea that it's crappy ammo. Maybe it's low pressure ammo. And, you know, is it crap? A bullet's a bullet, all right? If it works all the time, because my guns, my AR 15s, my other AKs, I've never had these issues as I did with this firearm. So, as to, you know, not to stoke the notion of the bad ammo theory, I just. I don't believe it's the ammo. I want to say that. So, the gun. About 1,200 rounds. We'll round down. 1,000 rounds. How did it function? Well, so I am not using the standard handguard. I'm using the Palmetto State Armory Soviet Arms handguard. The Zeneco copy. Now, the gun itself, this isn't the handguard. Well, it's the handguard retainer. The handguard retainer has come loose, like, not fitted properly or something because it it wiggles even with the other um, plum handguard that I came with i noticed this but it wasn't as bad so over shooting it's pretty bad and, and the stock's pretty it's gotten worse but i mean it's pretty much stopped in terms of wobbliness so you know it's whatever it's just a little annoying i was gonna put a red dot up here but uh with the way that moves i just figured nah probably not now, let's get into the internals. The wear. That's what you all want to know about. The wear. How has the gun worn? Well, 
I would say my opinion, as I will post pictures here on the screen, um, well, the bolt, I feel, and I figured out how to finally get these bolts, it's a, it's, it's a little different, because if you go too far back, it doesn't want to lock, so there's a sweet spot that you got to find, there you go, you get it like that. Now, there's some peening, you will see in the picture, there's peening here in the bolt, so on the, um, the lug, I don't know what the fuck it's called, lug rail, and there's peening on the bolt. On one of the lugs, on two of the lugs, uh, well, I'll post pictures of the bolt here, you'll see them. The wear, well, I can show you this one on video because it's a bolt. So, ah, you know what, that lighting's bad, I'm sorry. I forgot, that's why I chose right here, because the great, well, you know, lighting. So, the wear on this bolt face, I mean, it's like white already on some parts, you'll see. I would say it's pretty excess wear. Now, we are going to get this gun to the 2,000 rounds, and then from there, I'll make the determination that of which I do not want to make. I might, I don't know. And then there is this uh, peening here. It's not so terrible. This would be, honestly, this is livable. You can get over this. Peening on the tail. Or I forgot what it's called. I can't remember all the time. I think it's called the tail. Anyway, that's pretty much stopped. That has stopped completely. That hasn't exceeded any, or that, that hasn't gone any further than what it's at now. Now, in the chamber, it's gotten slightly worse, but it seems like it's slowed down heavily. Because there must, you know, I don't know how the head spacing works on AKs. Maybe this one wasn't head spaced properly. Or the barrel wasn't put in properly or something. But the wear, I mean, it's definitely noticeable. It either looks like it, like just, it worn down, I mean, visible pieces of metal in the gun. And on the rear trunnion, Nothing. I mean, it's perfectly fine on the rear trunnion. You can't even tell. It's barely knocked off the finish. This gun is gassed very well. I'll say that. This gun is gassed. Well, not hard. I mean, it's throwing them cases. I mean, literally 12, 13 feet. But, uh, I mean, you can't even... I mean, the AK platform with 5.56 is just so shot, you know, soft shooting that, um, you know, it's really hard to complain even if the gun was overgassed because, God, the, dang, it's just too good, too nice. Now, on the locking lugs, there is, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get some pictures of these. There is some wear. Uh, there's some mild peening on this locking lug. If you saw in the Grand Thumb video of the AK-74, how there was that peening on the locking lug here. It's like that, but not as bad. I mean, honestly, substantially not as bad. Hammer's fine. Everything's fine on the gun, pretty much, but... The wear is, I would say, slightly in excess. And, you know, there's a few things about the gun that weren't solid 10s when they came out of the box. I won't lie. Gas tube lever. Really just a little too easy to move. I mean, and when, it, when the gun gets cooking, I mean, this thing just, it'll rattle around, you know. I mean, if you bump something, oop, look at that. Boop. So, a little easy, a little too easy. Handguard retainer, like I said, a little loosey goosey, but I just want to make a quick video here, update you guys 1,000 rounds. Next week, we will have the 2,000 round video. Um, like I said, I'm just a little busy right now. As you can tell, I'm making this the next day. This is a Sunday morning, and I have to go do some other stuff later today. So I want to make this quick video, edit it together. And yeah, just give you guys a real update. I'll post pictures as I'm talking, so there's me, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, just go over it one more time. PSA, they sent me this ammo for free. They sent me three of these mags for free under the condition I only use these mags. Um, which I did agree to. I want to be clear, I will remain objective and fair. And that is all. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.